My name is Aaron Comas. Uh, I am Commercial Crew Parachute Hardware Lead uh, for the SpaceX Crew Dragon, along with the Boeing CST-100 Starliner vehicle. My role there was to observe the test and after the tests have been completed, support hardware recovery. You hope that everything works well. As soon as the parachute sequencing starts, you start counting in your head, one, two, three, four, and you're, you're making sure that you are keeping a mental track of all of the events that you would expect to happen to make sure that they happen when you think. Later, you're actually gonna take them to a table and you're gonna go through every single square inch of them in detail Make sure that you can document every single missing stitch because parachutes are so empirical. Uh, it's important that we are always listening to whatever the hardware is saying. For demo one, I was in the mission control center at Houston. I had Bob and Doug on either side of me and I was walking them through the entire sequence of events as it was happening. Drugs came out, they stayed strong, they deployed the mains, just walking them through it uh, play by play as it's happening, it splashes down. It was like a, a wave of relief came over. Uh, you, you always expect success. We, we had gone through an enormous amount of effort uh, working with SpaceX, working with the commercial crew program, working with all the various uh, stakeholders at NASA to make sure that everything had been looked at, every single avenue had been considered and that we had total confidence that it would be successful. It was definitely a very unique experience to be in mission control with them, knowing that they were going to be there uh, and you know, flying under these, these parachutes uh, with this vehicle next time.